Muslim Americans have been part of the American scene since the nation's founding. A little known fact is that Cedar Rapids, Iowa is, one, is home to one of the oldest mosques in America. The Muslim community is just like the rest of us. Muslims serve our nations as doctors, lawyers, teachers, business owners, cab drivers, and even members of Congress. Muslim Americans live in every community in America, and they are our neighbors. In short, they are us. Every American, including Muslim Americans, suffered on 9-11. 29 Muslims died at the World Trade Center. Three Muslims died in hijacked airplanes, United Flight uh, 175 and American Flight 11. Muslims stood with the rest of America united in grief and in a resolve to protect America. Along with Americans of all faiths, Muslim Americans rushed in to save and rescue victims of Al-Qaeda's terrorism. Let me close with a true story, but remember that it's only one of many American stories that could be told. Mohammed Salman Hamdani was a 23-year-old paramedic, a New York City police cadet and Muslim American. He was one of those brave uh, first responders who tragically lost his life in 9-11 terrorist attacks almost a decade ago. As the New York Times eulogized, he wanted to be seen as an all-American kid. He wore number 79 on the high school football team at Bayside, Queens, where he lived. He was called Sal by his friends. He became a research assistant at the Rockefeller University and drove an ambulance part-time. One Christmas, he sang Handel's Messiah in Queens. He saw all of the Star Wars movies. And it's well known that his new Honda was the one that read with the young Jedi license plates. Mr. Hamdani bravely sacrificed his life to try to help others on 9-11. After the tragedy, some people tried to smear his character solely because of his Islamic faith. Some people spread false rumors and speculated that he was in league with the attackers because he was a Muslim. But it was only when his remains were identified that these lies were exposed. Mohammed Salman Hamdani was a fellow American who gave his life for other Americans. His life should not be identified as just a member of an ethnic group or just a member of a religion, but as an American who gave everything for his fellow Americans. Are you back? Mr. Chairman. I thank the gentleman for his testimony. Mr. Chairman. Gentlelady from Texas. Parliamentary inquiry uh, being moved by statement of Mr. Ellison. I am wondering uh, whether or not you would waive the rules of this committee to allow all members to have opening statements. No, I, I will not. Written well, statements. I, I would tell the gentlelady. I, I think, Mr. Chairman, I, I would like to finish my inquiry. I think because of the severity of this issue and the passion that is being expressed and the concern for demonizing of one group that members need to be on the record uh, to be able to express okay. their view, their opposition, or their support for the format and the structure of this hearing. Uh, reclaiming my time, the regular uh, rules of procedure will be followed, and I recognize the gentleman from Virginia. Well, I object, Mr. Chairman.